Hi, it's Carol. I'd like to show you how to make a very simple squeeze page on your own hosting. First, you need to log into your cPanel and go to File Manager. Then you click on your public HTML folder and create a new file. Sorry, it's out of sight just over here. I'm going to call this uh, demo5.html create new file. Now we'll scroll down and find it and go to the HTML editor. Edit. Now I want the page to look like this so I'll put in my information bit by bit. Ooh, need to move Sorry, I'll just squeeze my page down to fit. There we go. Set yourself free. This is this is going to be the heading of my squeeze page. And now I'm going to enter a table because I want the image to be side by side with the dot points and the opt-in form. So enter a table by clicking on this. And I want a table that's um, one row and two columns and 600 wide. The border should be zero because you don't want outlines around your table columns. The alignment is centered, so the table will be in the middle of your page. Advanced properties. Right now it says width is 600 pixels, which we set earlier. The other thing I'd say, I'd set is, whoops, table dash background white. And the reason for that is if you go on to make a co more complicated page, with uh, a background color on your page, you don't necessarily want your table background to be the same color. Okay, there's our table. Now we can enter the image. Click on the image icon. Now I can use an image URL. Um, I could link that image so that you could put your affiliate link in there and have people click on it. That's good for a splash page, but not for an opt-in page. Could even upload one from my browser. It's very cool. I'll just go and get my URL for my image. This is the image I want. I'll do a right click, copy image location, back to my HTML editor, enter that URL in there. It's good to have some sort of alternative text, e cover of how to make, I won't keep typing now, but you really should have something there. It's good for your SEO. Um, and like I said, if you wanted that image to be clickable, you'd simply put a link in there. And for target, you could put new window and then it would open in a new window if you wanted to. So click on OK. There's my image. Now, um, this first cell has spread right across the table. That doesn't matter. I'll click in the second cell and I'm going to type in my blurb, which is um, Oops. Simple instructions. Lots of lots of screenshots. Make your first splash or squeeze page today. And then I'm going to put XXX. Sounds interesting, doesn't it? That's where my form code's going to go. So to add the form code, I need to do two things. One is I need to go into my source, and the other thing is I need to go to my autoresponder. So here I am in GVO, and I scroll down to autoresponder, and I found all my campaigns. The one I want is how the how-to campaign. Click on the forms tab, and get the HTML for that form. Oops, I'll just bring that down. Right click, select all, control C to copy it, 
and back I go to the HTML editor. Now I'm going to find that XXX. Oops, just double click and delete it and replace it with my form code. Now I'll click on source again and there you go. My form code's in there already. Now, I really wanted to say download your free copy now. Oops. We'll make this red. And we'll make all of these. Oops, that's hard to hard to select all at once. I'll just select one sentence at a time. Make all that bold. Bold. And bold again. Not too bad, huh? And by the way, if you spend a lot of time thinking about things, just click on save once in a while so you don't lose your changes. Now, set yourself free. I want that to be a headline. And I want it centered, so click on there. And I want it red. There we go. Now this one. Let's make that heading 2. Center it as well. And that's a bit wide, so learn how to make and host. If I do enter here, that spreads those two lines out like that. It's a bit far, so I'll go back and do shift enter, and that puts a line break in there without spreading the lines out too far. So that's looking pretty good now. I'll do a save again, and we'll try and find demo 5 dot html oops there it is now it's still not looking as cool as I'd like it to um, we'll put a break in there just try and tidy it up so it looks much better shift enter save it again Refresh. Now, there's more stuff we could do. We could align things and so on. Um, but you get the drift now. Another thing that would be nice would be to have how to or set yourself free or something cool on the tab. So we'll go back to the editor and go to source. And here where it says head and then title and slash title, you just put. Um, Set yourself free, or whatever you like in there. Now, go back to demo 5 and refresh it. And I'll just... Oh, hey man, that didn't work. Oh, I forgot to save it. Haha, <laughs> save. Demo 5, refresh. Now, I'll bring that down to where you can see it. See, now it says set yourself, well, you'd see free if, my t if I didn't have so many tabs open. So there you go, you've got yourself a beautiful squeeze page, all set up with about five minutes work.